So last night I watched Limitless by Chris Hemsworth on Netflix and he talked about shocking your body um, with ice cold water and how it could help you prevent disease and maybe it, I was thinking it could help with my cancer. So I tried it just now. I did like a 30 second ice cold water shower after my normal shower and let me just tell you, oh my god, it was rough. Like, I'm gonna keep doing it every time I take a shower, and um, hopefully, it's gonna help boost my immune system and be really good for me. So, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm literally still cold from the cold water, so I need to wear a sweater now. I got this Angora sweater from Zara, it's so nice and soft. So today, um, it's 9 a.m. I just went for a run, I took my shower, and now I'm gonna make a dessert. A nut butter strawberry crumble bar. Um, I had a rough month because Bevy was sick, then I was sick, and I had a lot of anxiety from my cancer treatments. So I lost like 10 pounds. I just weighed myself this morning and I'm like 95 pounds, which is really crazy and too thin. And I'm kind of scared that it'll affect my treatment outcome. So I have to gain some weight. So let's make dessert in the morning. So we're gonna start this recipe with three tablespoons of butter and we're just gonna melt it in the microwave like this. It looks so good. And then we'll need an electronic scale for everything else. And we're gonna start with 185 grams of nut butter. I'm using walnut and cashew butter. Nut butter is so good for your brain and has a lot of protein, so I'm really excited for Bevy to eat a lot of that. Next, we're going to measure out 75 grams of acacia honey, which tastes less like honey and more like sugar. And then we're going to measure out around 160 grams of all-purpose flour. So you can mix the nut butter, honey, and butter together at this point. And you can give it a little taste test after you've mixed them together. Next up, we're going to add one capful of high quality vanilla extract and half teaspoon of baking soda, some sea salt, And then we're going to pour in the flour that we measured out earlier. And we're gonna mix this together until it becomes this sort of consistency. When it gets too hard to mix with a spatula, we're going to kind of knead it together with our hands. And it should be relatively dry, so it will have a crumbly texture. If it feels like it's a bit too wet, you can add a bit more flour, just like I just did. So now we line our baking tin with parchment paper. I'm using a six inch square baking tin, but you can easily use a bigger one and just make the crumble less thick. And then we put the crumble base into the tin and we flatten it with our fingers just like this. And let's preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Then we can get on with washing and cutting our strawberries. Oh my gosh, my strawberries are huge. They're from Japan. They're so big, I don't even know how to cut them. So I would just slice them thinly. If you have really sweet Japanese strawberries like I do, you can probably do with less jam to minimize the refined sugars in your dessert. When the oven is preheated, you're going to want to put the base in the oven and bake it for 8 minutes until it's crusty on the bottom so that it won't get soggy when you put the jam on. Now we're going to make some breakfast. I, every morning, have a oat milk decaf latte. I don't even like coffee, but 
I have high liver enzymes from my uh, breast cancer treatment. So I drink coffee just to help lower my liver enzymes, which I don't know if it works, but Google says it might. So decaf is my go-to because I don't want to interfere with my sleep. <laughs> Check out my amazing latte art. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Haha. <laughs> Next, I'm going to make some beet juice. This is concentrated beet juice, so you can only add around four tablespoons and then you dilute it with water. If you drink too much of this, you will have major, major diarrhea. So for anyone who's constipated, good tip for you. Beet juice is very effective in lowering your liver enzymes and also has anti-cancer properties, which is why I drink it every day. And now I eat my breakfast and I try to eat very mindfully nowadays. I try to stay off my phone, I try not to watch TV, and I just try to savor my food. This helps me really stay zen and calm and focused for the whole day. At this point, you want to take the base out of the oven after it's had its 8 minutes. We want to cool it down a bit before we add the jam so that the jam doesn't get runny. And I'm using store-bought strawberry jam and I added way too much. I think maybe like 5 or 6 tablespoons. It was too sweet because my strawberries were so sweet. This amount would be perfect if you had subpar strawberries. If you have sweet strawberries, maybe just add three tablespoons or just enough to spread evenly over the base. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some high quality white chocolate chips. But uh, to be honest, white chocolate is not chocolate. So if you're health conscious, don't add it. I only like white chocolate because it looks really pretty against the strawberries. At this point, you're going to take the remaining bits of crumble and sprinkle them on top. It looks so nice right now. And then we're going to throw it back in the oven and bake it for another 15 minutes until the strawberries and the jam melt together and become a gooey filling. So, <clears throat> I mentioned that I lost 10 pounds in one month and I think a lot of people want to know how to lose so much weight. Um, I don't want to, and I didn't do that deliberately. But for anyone who's interested, I think the biggest factor is that I cut out sugar in my diet. And also, I've been doing intermittent fasting, like around 16 hours fasting. So basically eating a really, really late breakfast. And um, <clears throat> minimal refined carbs. That's it. Let's stop for a minute. That is not it. There were actually a lot of factors involved because Bevy had a cold and then I had a cold and then she had another cold and another cold after that. And I had extreme anxiety from subpar results from my cancer treatments and all of that just made me really stressed out. So I had a lower appetite than usual. If you're on a diet and need to lose weight, don't listen to my advice. Seek the advice of your doctor. Thank you. This is what the crumble looks like after 15 minutes in the oven. The jam and strawberries are bursting out of the sides. They're bubbling and it smells so delicious. Good thing we had our parchment paper under the crumble so we can lift it out like this and just cut it up into bars. If you don't have parchment paper, you can just bake it in the tray and scoop it out with a spoon and serve it with ice cream like you would a normal crumble. What I really love about this dessert is we didn't actually use any sugar except for the jam, but we could have really controlled that better and added just a teeny bit. If I were to be really health conscious, I could make my own jam with honey and that would be refined sugar free, which would be so much healthier for you. And we could, I suppose, also take out the white chocolate chips, which are not really chocolate. The inside of the crumble is super duper moist and juicy. It's so good. I love this recipe because of the high healthy fat content from the nut butters. 
If you love it too, please leave me a comment below. I'll leave the recipe in the description box. See you guys next time.